So this was, for me, my favorite discovery of my book. And a, a colleague turned me on to an artist named Claggett Wilson, who I'd never heard of before. And turns out nobody, just virtually nobody, had heard of Claggett Wilson. But his work is in the Smithsonian American Art Museum in their archives. And so I was coming up to Washington, and I made an appointment to say, could you bring me this work that had never been exhibited, these watercolors, 24 watercolors. And when I saw them, I was astounded. And then I had to do a lot of research. And it turns out Claggett Wilson was a young American artist who went to Princeton, went to Paris, and studied modern art in Paris, came back, and he was an art instructor at Columbia University when war broke out and when you know, America went to war. So he volunteered for the Marines. He wanted very much to serve his country, but he also, as he wrote to some of his friends, he thought to be a true artist, he needed to see really truly bad things, you know, that he couldn't be in an isolation bubble, isolation tank. So he became a Marine, a Marine uh, lieutenant, I think he was, fought in some of the bloodiest battles of the war in the Battle of Chateau Thierry, or the Battle of Belleau Wood. He was badly wounded, sent into hospital. When he came out of hospital, he um, was sent back to the front. He won medals for his valor. And at the end of the war, he was stationed in Germany for the Army of the Occupation. And he got some watercolor paint paper and some watercolors. And he did this amazing set of paintings of his memories of what he had seen during the war and nightmares he had experienced. There is no other American artist that actually was at the front, saw the horrors of war, and painted the horrors of war with a huge um, sense of passion about it. So it's, it's what he saw, but filtered through his nightmares and his memories and his hearing his comrades screaming in agony. And that's what these paintings are about.